period. But for those of you that were not here, this is good stuff to write down because I am going to add on top of this, Keith. So it's just a good refresher for all of you because we are going to have to know all of these angles again, all right? And it's gonna become very important in the problems that I'm about to give you how to do these. So the last one that we talked about was corresponding. And corresponding angles, all right? When we talked about corresponding angles, corresponding angles were like, they weren't just interior, exterior, but one was interior and one was exterior. And the way corresponding angles look at is they're in the same position for each intersection. All right, you can see that in this intersection, angle five is kind of like in the upper left-hand corner. Well, the corresponding angle to that would be angle one. So our corresponding angles are in the same position. So we have angle one and angle five, angle two and angle six, uh, angle three and angle seven, and angle four and angle eight. So that was your example of corresponding angles. All right? So now.